All right. Are you stuck in an endless cycle of dieting or maybe in a rut trying to desperately look like a friend or coworker? Those things are a result of society pressures and they are not healthy. So that's what we're talking about. Intuitive eating. So what is it? New this morning, John Shumway is here to explain. Yeah, and actually it's very simple. It's listening to our bodies when it comes to eating and not listening to peer or society pressure. Don't eat this, only eat that. The dieting vortex, according to the experts, is a pathway to eating disorders. So we all grow up in the society that focuses on weight and food and ultimately equating it to our worth. Intuitive eating is turning your back on the society noises and listening internally. Trying to identify and listen to your hunger, your fullness, what satisfaction might be. Dietitian Haley Goodrich founded Inspired in Monroeville to help pull the desperate out of eating disorders. Dietitian Natalie Colantano is there too and says we spend a lot of our time and our mental power focused on what we do and don't eat and how we look. But by allowing ourselves to eat intuitively, we are able to focus on our values and things that are really important to us. Because the clues to eating are left up to your body. You see a lot of diet programs trying to curb hunger appetite and truly hunger is a really healthy signal from our body. We need it. It almost sounds like the rule of intuitive eating is that there are no rules. Yeah, pretty much. What we like to eat are individual food preferences. And our bodies have a lot of internal wisdom and we don't need those external rules. If you can break free to embrace intuitive eating, you may or may not lose weight. It's sort of the anti-diet. But it may happen because as Goodrich says, you're making peace with food. It no longer controls you. You use it for what it's there for originally, which is to fuel your body. You eat what you need and are less likely to overindulge. So if there are no rules, I mean, can you eat anything? Because eating is also about like yeah. pleasure and, and you want to get something from it. Yeah. yeah. So are you all thinking a constant chocolate diet or something? Or pizza. Cheesecake. Or, or pizza. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, pleasure eating lights up the same part of your brain as petting a puppy. But they tell me if you are not depriving yourself of those things, you can have them when you want them, you are then less likely to binge. And that leads to an awful lot of weight gain. Yeah, I think that makes sense. If you know they're always a no, no, then they become even more tempting. Exactly. It's, it's really interesting because, you know, we've heard so much about intermittent fasting and that sort of thing. This is a kind of on the total opposite spectrum mm -hmm. of that. So yep. it's, it's going back to be like our kids. Yeah, we eat until we're full and then we say enough. And yeah. then we're done. It makes it simpler, too. It does. All right. <laughs> it really does. Thanks, John. Sure.